Well, it's been uh, quite a ride leaving uh, Maine, and going down the East Coast and down through uh, past New York City, and uh, now going kind of the outskirts of Philadelphia. I'm now in Media, Pennsylvania, to see my uh, childhood friend who lived next door to us in uh, Cape Canaveral, Florida, Jeff Burkett, and he's now an impressionist painter and lives right down the street from where I'm at here in Media, Pennsylvania, and uh, I'm buying a painting from him, and I'm hoping he lets me put him on film. I'm not sure how he feels about that, but uh, I'm sure some of the other friends that watch these videos from Cape Canaveral would be interested to see what Jeff looks like these days and uh, how he's doing. Class B's doing awesome. It's amazing how well this, this little RV does. It just... Uh, powers through it all. I'm telling you what, going by New York City, the traffic jam I ran into last night was unbelievable. Two hours of stopped in the middle of the road and then they actually had the highway blocked off and we're just sending all four or five lanes of traffic in off an off ramp. It was it was absolutely horrible, but I should have known better. Part of the adventure I guess. And now um, heading to my friend Jeff's place and uh, we'll see how that goes. We're here at uh, Pinocchio's where they make the real Philly sandwiches is what I understand so uh, I'm going to try one of those I think today. I'm here with Jeff Burkett. He actually is a childhood friend from Cape Canaveral, Florida. We used to walk to school together down the beach paths to Cape, to Cape View Elementary School way back in the 60s. Goodness gracious, it's been a long time. Jeff is now a painter and uh, does impression, uh, impressionist. Okay, and actually, your website is Pennsylvania Impressionist. It's an email. Uh, oh, okay. JeffBurkett.Weebly.com. Okay. That comes through. Right, right. All right, cool. Anyway, Jeff has been doing uh, really good living here in Pennsylvania. And, uh, it's just a great little town that we found here, or that Jeff lives in, and uh, it's really been fun visiting. And how was things? It's it's great to see and Chris. I know whoever sits at these tables. We we live next door to each other at a very important time in life and a very important place in the world uh, during that time with the Apollo shots and, and uh, just a ton of childhood memories. Had a lot of fun. We, Cape Canaveral was a special place back then. It was. It really and, was. Uh, just run around at night, mess around in the woods, building forts, did everything God, kids right. do. We used to build all kinds of forts right. out in the trees. You had to walk with a stick in front of you because of the spiders. Good old spiders, yeah. yeah. Big banana Big spiders. Banana spiders. <laughs> Put the fear in your <laughs> so. Anyway, there's a lot of good memories from back in our childhood, and uh, it's really nice to see Jeff out there on this adventure and just wanted to stop. So I actually uh, bought a painting today from Jeff. Just fantastic. I'm really excited about it. And, you know, it's great. Fun to make new memories. So I was really lucky that Chris could come by, and uh, it just bringing up a lot of feelings. And it's just the best. That's good. All right. We just thought of the pillbox. The pillbox. <laughs> Out behind the house. About four by four. About four inches of screen to look through. Yeah, and the trap door. It's probably we, the only person in the freaking world that remembers the pillbox out behind in the woods behind the house in Cape Canaveral. That was freaking awesome. I just had to get that on film because no one else would believe it. We protected the neighborhood. No <laughs> Germans got in or out. <laughs> it was a safe neighborhood. Safe neighborhood. We had the pillbox. Anyway, there you go. Another memory.
part of Media, Pennsylvania. With my brother presenting the Jeff Burkett painting. Wow, absolutely beautiful. And uh, you absolutely. see that on the back, Jeff wrote a little note for you. Eleanor Roosevelt wrote, Yesterday is past, tomorrow is a mystery, today is a gift. That's why they call it the present. Very good. I like it. Bad it's alright. It's okay. Chris is traveling today. It's alright. It's okay. Across the country. Both ways. And above the night to five. Time 